hey, I'm Mrs. McDonald. Can you think of what holiday I'm going to read a story about? Can you look at the clues? Shiny green shamrocks. And I'm wearing green. Do you know what holiday that it is when people wear green? St. Patrick's Day. The Night Before St. Patrick's Day by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Amy Wummer. And look at all those leprechauns. That looks like a wee bit of a wee bit of mischief. <laughs> we'll have to see if they get into mischief. Let's see what happens. The night before St. Patrick's Day. Oh, March 17th. Twas the night before St. Patrick's. The day to wear green. Not a creature was stirring except Tim and Maureen. Oh, look, they're putting up all kinds of decorations. They don't even see him. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. They did a lot of decorating, didn't they? Later, they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they'd find where he buried his big pot of gold. How to catch a leprechaun. Shiny ring, pull string. Look at that. They set all the traps round the room with great care in hopes a wee Irishman soon would be theirs. Oh, look at this. This looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? I think that would attract a leprechaun. Let's see, shiny treasure inside, lucky leprechaun slide. Ooh, some gold. There's a coin. There are some coins. Wow, they really worked hard to make a trap, didn't they? The children then nestled all snug in their beds while visions of golden coins danced in their heads. Oh, even the dog, look. He's dreaming of a golden doggy bone. <laughs> Happy St. Patty's, said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning. Have you ever heard bagpipes? I like the sound of bagpipes. They're pretty neat. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. I don't know what song they sang. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. When from the bedroom there arose such a clatter, the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter. And what to their wondering eyes should appear? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I wasn't expecting this. But a terrible mess. A leprechaun was here. Look at that mess. Oh, no. Oh. whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish quick as a wink. Should we try to stare? Stare at me. That's all the longer I can stare. I don't think I'd catch a leprechaun. Hmm. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor. Hmm. Which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. And then inside a trap, they heard someone giggling. A real live leprechaun. They both saw him wriggling. Ooh. 
his eyes how they twinkled, his body so tiny. His hand clasped a trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed in all green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky, no lies. I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X, right in your backyard. How? But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. Look what that leprechaun did. I think his buddies helped him. They put X's all over the backyard on rocks. Oh. oh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Ha ha, I fooled you. It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you and better luck next year. Oh no, he fooled them. Do you think they'll try again next year? I think they might. Well, I hope you have fun on St. Patrick's Day. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.